Hey everyone, Dan here from the Dime of Minecraft and welcome back to another Minecraft video but today's is extremely special and was taken from the Insomnia Gaming Festival which took place last weekend. I was there for three days and the support was overwhelming. Seriously, I met so many of you guys, it was unreal. So thanks to everyone who came along and also watched the stream and what you're about to see is a live Let's Play that I prepared which is literally like a custom mod adventure but live it's called the cookie of truth and i just think i should be quiet and just let my previous self do the talking so if you did enjoy this please leave a big fat thumbs up it'd be great to see some support for this live action custom mod adventure and i hope that you enjoy it so without further ado let's get to it Festival. How are we today? We. I know it's lunchtime. We've all eaten. There's a bit of a lull. Well, that wasn't good enough. Make some noise, insomnia! That's what I like to hear. That is more like it. So, who are we here to see? Who is it again? Well, you guys have been extremely patient, so for that, we thank you. Uh, I don't think there's anything more to say, really, apart from to bring him on. Here's Dan, the Diamond Minecart. Here he is. The man himself. Hello, everyone. How are you so doing? Have a seat on the, on the couch for let's a little bit. Yeah, let's do it. Yeah, let's do it. So, nice and casual. Insomnia, are you having a good one so far? Yeah, it's been really good. One of the best so far, definitely. Oh, that's good to know. Yeah. You're not too tired? No, I'm all right. I'm pumped. <laughs> and how are the meet and greets going? They're insane. Like, so many of you come out. It's, it's, it's going really well, and there's just so many of you. It's mind blowing. Has anybody here been lucky enough to meet Dan at the meet and greets? Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's good to know. Good to know. Wave your swords in the air. Whoa. <laughs> so, um, what are we going to do today? Talk us through it. It's really exciting. We had this last last time at Insomnia. Yeah, we did. It went down really well. It's kind of like a, a trial version last time, which went down really well. So, if you guys watch my channel, I do these things called custom mod adventures. Heard those, yeah? I thought so. So, we're going to do one of those, but a live version. So, we're going to have Grim, Treoris, uh, all our characters in, some new characters, and a bit of a storyline to go along with it. So, let's do, it. let's do it. So, basically, what you do uh, on your channel yes. at home, uh -huh. you're going to do on this stage. On right this stage now. right now. So exclusive. You guys, you this guys hasn't been seen before. An exclusive video, exclusive. basically, on this stage. How exciting is that? <laughs> Yay! And is this something that you might put on the on your channel afterwards, maybe? Yeah, or? definitely. So if people are like watching, um, at can't watch it, or you want to show your friends later, I will put it on the channel later on. Oh, that's. Really or if you cool. want to relive the magic, I guess. <laughs> Who's looking forward to it? <laughs> right. Well, I'll tell you what, then I better get out of your way. After this, we're going to do a Q and A. Yep. So if anybody's got any questions for Dan, uh, once we've done the live let's play, I'll come back out and we'll ask him some questions. Okay. Let's do it. Thanks a lot, guys. Okay. Let's do it. Okie dokie. One sec. Okay, this is really awkward. Has anyone got the mouse? <laughs> so I'll be with you in a second, guys. Nice one. Cheers. And right, who's excited? Exclusive, exclusive today. There's so many of you. Are you having a good time? That's what I like to hear. That's what I like to hear. Right then.
Okay, so we're just going to hop straight into it, and you're going to see on the screen in a second a very familiar place. A very, very familiar place. Can anyone guess what it is? It's the treasure room. The treasure room is here. So, Troros, buddy, how are you doing? How are you doing, Troros? I think he's doing okay. I think he's doing okay. He's being, I think he's a bit nervous. So, should we give him a bit of a cheers, kind of help him along? Go on, cheer, Troros. <laughs> he is all right. So, um, I think we might. Um, what, what are we doing today? I don't really know what we're doing today. I think we should go and check upstairs because. Um, yeah, there's, a lot, there's not much going on here. It looks a similar like a state to where we ended the last video, which was um, possibly with this guy right here, and uh, blew a massive hole in the wall. So what we're going to do is go upstairs, see Grim, and see what is going on. So let's head upstairs past the Holy Diamond Minecart, of course. Let's head up here, shall we? And zap, there we go. And Grim's here. Everyone say hi to Grim. How are you doing, Grim? Uh, he's doing good, and um, wait, there's, I think, wait a second, wait a second, there's someone around here, let's have a look, I can set there, there, there he is, he's always there, Craig, buddy, how, how are you doing, huh, how are you doing, you doing good, I, I think he's doing good, did you hear that, guys, <laughs> he's always doing that, so, um, yep, yep, I think he's doing good, so what, what have you got in your, um, your hand there, he's got a, Oh, he's celebrating Easter. He's celebrating Easter today, but um, I probably wouldn't accept an egg off you. I'm sorry, buddy. I'm sorry. But I'm going to accept this off you, which is a book, and it's titled Citadel Troubles. So, greetings, squires. My name is Sir Harold, and I'm writing to you with a tale containing grave danger. Obviously not good. A citadel is turning to ruin after we were victims of a terrible crime. The sacred item that keeps the city alive was stolen from us, and we have no means to get it back. This is why I'm contacting you. I've heard great things about you and your friends, and you, only, and you seem to be the only hope we have. What I'm asking is, can you help us? The citadel is nothing without our sacred item. I'll explain more if you can accept our quest. If you do, we are just beyond the horizon. Thank you, Sir Harold. So, um, do, do you think we could take this on, guys? I, I don't know if you think we should. Yeah, I think we should. So, we will pop that back. We will say goodbye to Craig. Yeah, yeah, goodbye, Craig. We'll, we'll leave you there. It's okay. Um, <laughs> all right, let's go back downstairs because we need to head off somewhere, but uh, I'm not really sure where the Citadel is. So, if we just head back downstairs for a second. And I like the new edition of the water, so I don't hurt my legs every time. But, um, Travis, how are you doing? I need, um, I need some help, buddy. I don't know where the Citadel actually is, so what do you think? Uh. Okay, um, wh how, how? Uh. Okay, so um, he's actually saying that we can use the teleporter. If we use um, some new buttons that he's put on the back, we can actually be teleported straight to the Citadel. So we're going to do that. Thanks, buddy. Um, I think we're going to leave him here, though, because we've only just taken Robo Treoris apart, and we, we don't want him to get all... Um, we don't want him to explode any more holes in the side of the wall, do we? So... Oh, yeah, I didn't even notice these when we came in. Do you see these guys? I didn't see them. So let's press one of these, shall we? What? Nice, look at this. This is impressive. This is really nice. I don't know how we've never been here before, to be honest. <laughs> but we're going to explore and see what's going on. Let's jump over this pond. And I guess we'll find out some information about what's going on. How are you doing, Town Maiden? So, um, hello, young sir. Are you lost? Um, we're actually here to see Sir Harold. So, um, you're the one they've been talking about. Guys, they've been talking about us. They've been talking about us. We, we've actually created legends of legend status. Uh, Sir Harold is in the house just behind, behind the graveyard. He believes to be expecting you. Enjoy your stay here. Okay, so let's just explore this, shall we? So let's go around here. There's a few different people. I think we'll go... Sorry, buddy. I didn't mean to do that. Uh, I think we'll go over to the... We need to find the graveyard. There's... Oh. Tasty cake. There's a few bakers. There's a, looks like there's a marketplace around here as well. Uh, there's a gravekeeper. So this is definitely where the, um, where the graveyard is. Where else? Uh, okay, let's go around here. He, she, she said the, the house behind the graveyard, right? Was that, was that it? I think it was. But um, yeah, we got it. We got it. It's Sir Harold. So let's see what is going on here. Welcome, sir. I can't believe you actually traveled here. Regardless, we desperately need your help. The sacred item of the Citadel has been taken. We have no idea who it was and no idea where it has been taken. So we need a hero like yourself to help out. 
what is the sacred item, though? So um, this may sound a little strange. The item is the... Guys, guys, it's called the cookie of, of truth. Uh, <laughs> literally the strangest sacred item I've ever heard. So um, he kids he kid us not. This cookie has been passed down through many, many generations and holds a power no one should ever abuse. The holder of the sacred cookie of truth can pull the truth out of the greatest of liars. No secret can be hidden, no lie to be told. I think that's quite an impressive cookie. Quite an impressive one. So. Um, as you can tell, this is an almighty power to have, which is why we keep it locked away and protected from anyone's use. However, this also makes it a prime target for all evildoers. They have tried and failed to steal it before, but this time they have succeeded. So this is the mission that we've been given. We have to get the cookie of truth back from whoever has stolen it. So we need this back as soon as possible. Are you up to the task? Are you up to the task? Are we up to the task? I thought so. Let's get this cookie of truth back. There we go. We've got a new quest now as well which is called the Cookie of Truth. This is great news. The people of the Citadel will be overjoyed. I'm sure if you talk to a few of them, they'll be more than happy to help you with supplies for your quest. They may ask a favor in return, but they'll sort you with only the best of weapons. Oh, that was a lot of speaking, Sir Harold, but thank you so much. We're going to go and get your, um, your Cookie of Truth right now. So let's go and have a look and Wait a second. Oh, wait. This is... The shrine of the cookie and truth is literally a cookie jar. <laughs> so they keep it on a cookie jar that's on top of a golden block. So we need to replace the cookie of truth in here. So let's go and ask some people if they know what's going on. So who should we speak to first? We've got Perez the tailor. He trades a few things. He trades um, eggs for string. You don't, you don't really trade any good stuff, to be honest, do you? So let's go ahead and check all of the trades around here. We've got, don't need sponge, don't need any of that. How did you end up in there? <laughs> oh my goodness. All right, there's another trader in here. Okay, we might be onto something here. I could see, because we don't have anything on us, so we can maybe grab some poppies. We can definitely grab that. Blacksmith, that's what we need. Here we go. So we can get iron sword, iron shovel. We can get a knight's helmet, knight's leggings, and a knight's chest plate. So I think we should go for all of that. We need lapis, though, as if we can grab some lapis for anyway. Right then. Wait a second. He needed coal. Someone from before needed poppies for coal. So let's grab as many of these poppies as we can and see if we can trade for some good things. Let's knock this one out. Do you remember how many she needed for the block of coal? I can't remember. Eight. OK, so we've got four, five, six. I can't even count. Seven. And the last one is eight. Hopefully that person doesn't mind that I'm kind of ruining her garden, but I'm sure it's OK. Uh, who was it that had the trade? Was it you? Do I see the trader? It was. Right then, give me this block of coal, please. You actually gave us four which is pretty good. So Abe the Blacksmith, let's trade with you. We need a shovel. A shovel's not actually that good, though. Uh, there must be another trade around here somewhere. Do you remember if you saw anyone trading for a shovel at all? Let's have a look. Yeah, so we've got some eggs that we can trade for, and then the eggs can be traded for string. I am super confused, guys, but let's do it anyway. Let's go for, get the eggs for the shovel. So hold on, you can go and like, uh, use that in your garden. Um, Perez the tailor, we can trade for the string. We can do that. Yeah. But that's pretty much all we've got so far. We do need some lapis. So let's do a little bit of a check around here. See if there's any in. Oh, oh careful there. We need to look in here. No chests at all. Let's see if we can find a chest around here somewhere. There's, oh, there's one right here. Let's have a look in this one. OK, lapis. This guy literally desperately needs lapis, and there's some literally <laughs> quite like opposite him, which is crazy. Sir, I would like to buy all of your things. Let's grab, should we grab a knight's helmet? I think we should grab one of those. We should grab knight's leggings, a knight's chest plate, and we've got two to spare, which is good for an iron sword. So we're all kitted out. Look at us. Don't we look cool? Do we look cool? Do we look ready? We look ready. But I think we should um, explore a little bit more because I've seen a few buildings around the. Oh no, you can't do this to me. You can't do this to me. I don't need to know about that right now, do I? <laughs> but anyway, here we go. Let's go and explore a little bit more. Uh, there's, there's a few. I saw a building in the distance over here and over there as well. So let's head over to this building here, which looks like a stable, possibly. So Leonardo. How you doing, buddy? Look at all these horses. 
beautiful horses. Um, hello, young sir. I have heard who you are already. I feel I am well equipped to help you on your quest. Viewers, help me first. What do you need? Um, someone at the market has some string that I need to tie up the last bales of hay for my horses. If you could get me some, and then I may have a horse for you. So we've literally already done this. We got some, look, we completed the quest straight away. So um, you, can, you can have your string, buddy. So thanks so much. Feel free to raid the chest upstairs for supplies and select a horse to take with you. Good luck on your quest. I've heard rumors that the culprit resides on the south of the citadel. So we now have a location. We are now kitted up, and we can now grab a horse. So he said upstairs there's some supplies. All right, there's a chest in here. There are, ah, should we take the diamond armor? I think we should take that. Uh, and a saddle, of course, as well. Uh, well, there's stairs. There's stairs. All right, now we need to pick a horse. We've got this one with brown and white spots. This one looks cool. Should we choose that one? I think we should choose this one. So, how are you doing? Let's, um, I don't know if we're going to get you out of here, you know. We might have to break you out. You okay? Can, can you get through? You can't. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, dear. I did not mean to do that. All right, let's get rid of this. Two fence gates, why, why would they put them there? They can't, the horses can't even get out. Right then, let's get this guy out of here. We need to kind of tame him first, though, because obviously he doesn't know who we are, and he's, oh, what are you doing? What are you doing trying to eat my face? Here we go. Come on. Love me, Mr. Horse. Go on. Is it going to work? If this works first time, this is meant to be. Ah, oh, why would you do this to me? Anyone else thinks it's really hard to tame a horse, isn't it? Really difficult. I think they should be a bit more friendly. I'm not sure about you, but come on. You don't want to climb the tree. Come on. You can do it. You can do it. Why don't you show me that? Yeah, finally. So now we can pop on these little bits here and look at our majestic horse. How cool does that look with our sword as well? We're looking like a proper knight right now. So let's do another quick scan of the city or the citadel even because we're in like medieval times right now. And there's a guy over here who I've spotted who I want to um, take a look at right now. So this is Cray the Archer. How are you doing, buddy? Let's talk to him. Welcome to the Citadel Traveler. This is my archery range. Fancy little challenge? Do we fancy a little challenge? Yes. Yes, we do. Sure. Um, take a bow and a collection of arrows from the chest inside. And you've got until you run out of arrows. Hit all five targets. Bring me five emeralds that drop from the targets, and I've got something extra special for you. OK. This is, this is going to be challenging. I don't know about you guys, but I'm not the best with a bow. So looks like we've got five targets here. Let's try and hit this one. Yes, there we go. An emerald pops out. That's good. Here we go. Oh, we got the second one. They get more difficult, though. Oh, we've missed that one. Oh, I missed that one as well. And that one. See, I told you my aim is not good. Not good whatsoever. And that one as well. Right, and let's try this one instead. Here we go. Yes, nice one. Oh, this one is super far. Did we get that? Did we get We should go and check. We should go and check. I'll run out of arrows first, then we'll go and check. Come on, let's do this last one. Can we get it? Can we get it? If not, we're going to have to see if he's looking or not and see if we can have a, a sneaky cheat. Right then. Last arrow. I don't think that hit, did it? <laughs> I don't think that hit at all. Let's see. How many did we get? We got one, two, three, four, five. We did actually get five. I think five is what we need. Let's have a quick look. We do. OK, so we did hit all the targets. That is good. You can't see them too far away. Let's pop this back because we only have one arrow, so that's not going to be useful. And there we go. Archery challenge is complete. Fantastic. And now I mentioned I've got something special, and that's because I've heard why you're here. Take this specially tempered blade I was lucky enough to come across on my own travels. I hope it helps you bring the cookie of truth to its rightful place. Good luck again, traveler. And he has given us an ancient broadsword. Look at the size of this. Look at that. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> this is the, the largest largest minecraft weapon i've ever seen so it has an enchantment on it actually it's got sharpness one so it does seven and a quarter damage which is pretty impressive i think you'll agree so where did our horse go here we go so i think we need to head to where we need to get to to save the cookie of truth so um we can see he said to the south like in the dunes i think he said so if we go this way on our epic horse we should be able to make it through this dark tunnel and make it out of here. So there we go. Passage to the South Desert. Let's get out of here. And oh, the horse has followed us. Beautiful. How are you doing? Look how happy he is. <laughs> you see him put, uh, put a little smile out there for you guys. Um, now that I'm in the desert, though, I'm not 100% sure where we need to go because I've never ventured this far before. But I'm feeling pretty confident. What about you? 
we've got like a diamond, a diamond horse, an ancient broadsword, and we're doing pretty well for ourselves. There's actually random houses around here as well. Let's go and check out these houses, shall we? See if there's anything inside. Is there anything inside here? It's a strange. I can't even get in. That's not very fair. That's not very fair at all. And, oh, there. Wait a second. There's a. There's a. There's a castle. Look at the size of that castle. Do you reckon that's where we need to go? Yeah. yeah. I think. I think. I think you're right, guys. I think we definitely need to head over here. That is an impressive door. I don't think I've ever, I've ever complimented anyone on their doors before, but look at that. That's impressive, isn't it? But we do need to be careful here. Look, wait, there's skeletons. Yeah, we definitely, we definitely need to be careful. Look at this guy. He's not happy whatsoever. That's because he's a skeleton. That's because he's a skeleton. There's quite a few around here as well. So we're going to have to be very, very careful. But let's head inside. A horse has wandered off. He's gone. <laughs> He's gone. Um, I'm sure we're, we're about to make them walk back unless we don't find him. And here we go. This giant pair of doors. Whoa. Uh, who's this guy? Hello? How are you doing? No! No! He's coming for me. Guys, we're going to have to use our ancient swords. What? He's taking a bath. He's taking a bath. Let's get him. Let's get him. Let's get him. Let's get him. We have to take him out. Nice one. We took him out. And I, I accidentally broke the door. There we go. Nice. Let's grab this. And it looks like this is going to be a very hostile place. There's another one right there. Let's try and take him down. Take him down. Take him down. Oh, there's a couple. There's a couple. Let's take him down. It looks like they've got bronze swords. There we go. We're doing all right, I think. We're doing OK. There's another guy around here. Oh, he's hurting me. I've got decent armor. Oh, where did you come from? You, they've got shields as well, which is pretty powerful. Where do we go? We need to make it to the top of here. No, there's a dead end around here. Let's see if we can make it around here. There's no more guards, which is good, which is good. Is there any more, any more stuff around here? How are you doing? There's nothing around here either. We need to go. I think there was a, a little passageway inside, so let's make it inside, shall we? Was it? Oh, how did I miss this? <laughs> There's no doors on it either. There's another guard. There's another guard. Let's take this guy out as well. There we go. This, this sword is powerful. What do you think? Super powerful. There we go. We're actually doing really, really well with all our amazing armor and our giant sword. And take you out as well. Get out of here, you punk. Oh, and you as well. You as well. I like their little hats. Cute. No, he's going to knock me off the top of the castle. I'm nervous, guys. We've got... I don't know what's gonna. There's more. There's more guards. Of course there is. There's one up here as well. No. 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 There are, there's three of them. Get out of here. No. 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 Don't. Don't do it. Don't do it. We can do this. We can do this. Oh wow, that was close. That was seriously close. We're gonna have to. We're gonna have to chill out a little bit. I don't know why I've got an egg. That's probably why I wasn't hitting them. To be fair, I've got an egg as my weapon right now. Oh, there's another guy. Throw an egg. There we go. <laughs> take the egg. <laughs> Should have picked up a few more eggs to try and take these guys out. Um, which way? There's so many ways through this castle. I think we should head up here. So look, I sense we're close. Since we're close, are we good? Who's this guy? Can you see this guy? It's like he's in some kind of robes. I, I, what is his name? His name is the Great Wizard. So we must be in his castle. It's a little bit spooky. Like, very spooky, actually. Um, what do you think we should do, guys? Should we go and take him on? I, I sense he's quite evil. Take him on? I think so. Let's, let's see if we can have a, a swift chat first. How are you doing, buddy? What? Who are you? Why are you here? How did you get past the others? Well, to be honest, we've got a decent sword, and your guys were very, very weak. I came to claim back the cookie. Um, ah, well, there's no way you can get it. Um, he, he thinks he's going to try and defeat us. He said deal with him. It sounds like he's trying to summon someone in. Whoa, whoa. Oh, geez. Who is this? Soul of the Sands. This is worrying. Um, oh, how can we have this guy? Right, we're going to have to take him down, guys. He is a full-on boss. Can you see his boss bar at the top? Oh, geez. Oh, geez. Let's try and get him over here. Let's try and get the wizard and him at the same time. Go on, buddy. Ah, oh, no. Oh, no. Let's try and knock him off. Let's try and knock him off. There he goes. Oh, where did he go? Oh, there's water down there. Let's go. We could do this, guys. We do this. I can believe. I believe in ourselves. Let's, let's cheer it on. Can we, can we do this? Can we do this? Let's kill the guy. Let's take. Let's take him down. The cookie of truth is in this guy. How are you doing? He's having a nice swim, actually. I think he's enjoying himself. Let's take him down. There we go. He's really, really powerful. Look how much health he's got. And he's knocking us back. Ow! 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 ow. I don't want to drown either. That would be terrible. Let's try and knock him into a cactus too. I think that'd be powerful. Ow! 
ow, 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 no. <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. It's getting close. Oh, man. I'm so glad we got this sword. If we just had the iron sword, we would be in major trouble right now. We're close. Guys, we're close. We're not doing too bad right now. How are we doing? There we go. There we go. Look. There it is. We got the cookie of truth. We got the cookie of truth. That wasn't too bad, was it? We've actually got really, really good equipment, but um, we are lost. We are now very, very lost. What I think we should do is see if we can find our, our horse friend. What do you think? Uh, I'm not really sure where he went, though. I'm not sure at all. Uh, I think we should try and use the powers of the Cookie of Truth to try and get back. So if we all say Cookie of Truth super loud, I think we might be able to make it back. So are you ready? Three, two, one. Oh, we made it, guys. It worked. It worked. Thanks for the help. Oh, my goodness. That actually worked. <laughs> the Cookie of Truth is literally the best. Um, where are we? Where are we? We're outside here again. Um, you know what, guys? Before we go back and give this back to Harold, what I think we should do is maybe try out the cookie of truth. He did say that it, it, it stops people lying. It literally makes them tell the truth. So I think we should try it on a few people. I saw a few people running around here earlier. So who should we try on? We've got Quan or Kedera. These are strange, strange names. Let's try on this guy. So here we go. Um, how you doing, buddy? Welcome to the Citadel Warrior. Okay, we have the option now. Use the cookie of truth. Let's do it. Sometimes I steal bread from the bakers. You, you, why would you do that? Oh, we got our quest complete as well. These guys, he steals bread and he's running away because I know the truth now, which is bad. What about you, sir? How are you doing? Hello there, how are you? Should we use the cookie of truth? Yeah. Let's do it. Sometimes, oh, oh, this is, this is uh, slightly awkward. Uh, he likes to sleep in pink underwear. I think we should leave this guy alone. We've embarrassed him enough. We've embarrassed him enough. Anyone else want to reveal their secrets? Anyone? I saw a few people around here. There was someone around, there was someone around here. Uh, was it you? Was it you? It was you. This place is really coming along. We're small at the moment, but developing fast. That's interesting, but what's more interesting is we could use the cookie of truth. Oh, she likes <laughs> the taste of sand. You're a strange one. You are definitely a strange one. You're stuck in there now, aren't you? You, can't get, you don't have any access to any more sand. <laughs> oh, we should leave. There's plenty of sand where we've just been, so she'd probably try it out over here. Let's try it on the gravekeeper, shall we? Uh, I don't think he's interested. <laughs> I have nothing for you. You are you're an angry. You look like someone I know. You look, you look, he looks a lot like Treros, don't you think? Looks a little bit like him, which is with blue eyes. But anyway, I guess we should do the right thing. We can't abuse this power anymore. Let's go ahead and give this back to Harold. My good friend, how are you doing, buddy? Um, you, sir, are a legend. I think we're all legends. We all helped out. You got me back from the, the crazy sand dunes. This citadel cannot thank you enough for what you've done. If you could replace the cookie where it rightfully belongs, your quest would be complete. That's what I like to hear. We're forever in your debt, sir. So, guys, we did it. We did it. We got the cookie of truth from that crazy guy. Oh, it's turning to night. This is not good. Oh, oh my goodness. Yeah, at least it doesn't does it rain. Oh, no, I'm scared. But anyway, let's put the cookie of truth back. It is cookie jar. Let's see how it looks. Look at that. That's pretty impressive. What do you think? Look how majestic that looks. But um, now we need to get home. So, Treros, uh, I don't know if you can hear me, but... Um, can you send me home, please? I need, I need to come back. I need to put some stuff in the treasure room. We need to add this, this room to it. What do you... No, I don't think you can hear us. I don't think I'm loud enough. Um, right, this, work, this worked for the cookie of truth. So we're going to have to say, Dr. Treras, beam us home. And I think we might be able to complete this. Get home and have a good sleep because we've had quite the battle today. So if we go three, two, one, and then say, Dr. Treras, beam us up. So are you ready? Three, two, one. One, Dr. Treos, beam us up! Where are we? Oh, we're in the teleporter again. Yes, it worked, guys. You are literally the best. I need to bring you guys on more adventures with me, definitely. Right, Treos, how are you doing, buddy? How are you doing? Look at, look at this giant sword I have. Look, it's absolutely massive. What? He says it's not too impressive. Uh... Sometimes you're like really rude, Treyos. <laughs> He's not in a good mood today, guys. So, um, do you have anything to say to all these like beautiful people here? Huh? Do you? Do you? Uh -huh. Okay. Uh -huh. 
Okay, he says, you guys are legends. And thanks so much for helping me out with the Cookie of Truth. We are going to put all of this stuff in the treasure room in the next time you see a custom mod adventure. So, thank you so much for joining us on this adventure, guys. It's been epic. Did you enjoy it? I'm glad you did. So, I think what we're going to do now is a little bit of a Q&A. There's so many of you. Oh, my goodness. Um, Hi, I think we're going to do a Q&A now, so if I could get my, my beautiful assistant out, wherever he is, and we'll do a little bit of a Q&A. I'll leave that up here. Beautiful. Where is my beautiful? Oh, there he is. Hello. There he is. There he is. Did you call me beautiful? Yes. Oh, so yes. too kind. Too <laughs> kind. Right, okay, that was amazing. Round of applause, I think. Thank you. I'm glad you enjoyed it. I'm glad you enjoyed it. Did we all really enjoy it? Yeah. Great fun. Right, okay, so we want as many questions as possible for Dan. Okay, that's what he's here for. He's really happy to answer Definitely. all your questions. So I think we should crack on. Okay. Yeah, let's, let's get it. involved. Let's do it. Let's do it. Right, let's do it. put your hand up if you would love to ask the Diamond Minecart a question. I'm going to, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to start this end and I'll make my way across. Is that all right? It's a good plan. It's a good plan. So. Hello, what's your name? Tom. And Tom, what's your question for Dan? Um, how are the pugs? How are the pugs? Is that the question? They are the craziest little dogs you've ever met in your life. I wish I could bring them here with me. I could have them like sitting on the sofa. It'd be a good time, but they're really good. Thank you for asking. <laughs> how many pugs have you got? We now have two. two. Names? Uh, Darcy and Ellie. Ah, oh, lovely. Yeah, bring them next time. Uh, definitely, yeah. yeah. Have their own meet and greet, maybe. I could look after <laughs> him while you're doing your meet and greet. That sounds stuff. good. Yeah. I'm a pug lover. Right. I have a question. This young man, what's your name? Ben. Hiya, Ben. What's your question? I like your leather jacket. It's cool. Um, who is Trios? Is he like a real player? What was that, sorry? Who is Trios? Is he like a real player? No, Treos is a legitimate villager. As you can see, he was in there and it was just me up there. So he's, he literally just chills in the lab and then causes trouble every now and then as well. So it's a legitimate Legit. villager. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Go. Um, what's your question, mate? Um, what inspired you to do YouTube videos? What inspired me? Um, I guess the game Minecraft, because you could literally make, do, build, record, literally whatever you like in Minecraft. So that inspired me to make videos. And then you guys <laughs> uh, watch them, <laughs> which is crazy. So that's why it inspired me to make videos. Okay, next question. What's your name? Um, awesome. And what's your question? What's your favorite game apart from Minecraft? Ooh, are you allowed to like other games apart from Minecraft? I think we're allowed. Yeah. I think we're allowed. Okay. Uh, my favorite game, I, when Mario Kart came out, Mario Kart is a beautiful game, very good game. Uh, there's a new update coming out for it soon, so I'm sure I'll get addicted, re-addicted to that. Um, Mario Kart's just perfect, isn't it? It's so good, yes. Yeah, Who plays fun. Mario Kart? Yeah. Oh, it's the best. It's the best. Right, I have a question. What's your name? Helen. Helen, and what's your question? How long have you and Trey Aris known each other? Well, we have known each other a long time. I did a video on how I met Trey Aris, and that was... Years, years, absolute years, and it has caused me trouble most days of my life. So it's been a long, long time. And if you haven't seen the How I Met Treyoris video, it's kind of the story about how we met each other. I like moved in next to him, and from day one he was causing trouble. So yeah, we've known each other a long time. Exactly. Anybody else got a question? <laughs> you need to ask a question, don't you? Okay, what is it? What's your name? What's your question? Uh, are you going to do another um, husband versus wife challenge? Wife challenge? Yes, we definitely should do. We've been thinking about it because I'm not sure how many of you know, but we did a husband versus wife challenge where we literally had loads of challenges and we faced off against each other, which you guys seem to love. And I think we should do it again. It's a, it's a highly suggested series, so I'd definitely do it again. Who'd like to see it again? Okay. That settles it. That settles it. There's your answer, Dan. <laughs> right, next question. Hello, my friend. What's your name? Jude. And what's your question, Jude? Um, I, my favorite video was when um, you shot your wife. <laughs> okay, that sounds a little bit strange. <laughs> so he, 
yeah, it was a toy gun, and um, I went around surprising my wife by shooting her with this toy gun throughout the day, and <laughs> the amount of people that said this like the favorite video is quite hilarious. <laughs> well explained. <laughs> yeah, it needed to be Bring explained. Me a bit there, dude. Okay, oh, I can't get, I'm stuck, aren't I? This is a dead end. Okay, I'll, okay, I will ask you what's your name and what's your question? Ooh, that's a good that's question. That's a good question. Yeah. If I had to pick another YouTube name, it would have to have diamonds in it because diamonds are the best. Diamond Dan, is that boring? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> goggles, yeah, what could we do? The Diamond Goggles. Yeah, that's a good one. Let's go for Diamond Goggles. Anybody diamond else goggles. got any suggestions? Yeah, what are the suggestions? Go on, shout it out. No, shout out your, your no, answer. What do you think he could change it to? <laughs> The diamond, the diamond dude. I Ooh, quite like that. That's a good one. one. Right. <laughs> it's yours. It's yours. You in the Bob Marley T-shirt? What's your name or what's your question? My, my name is Dave. And who do you like the most, Grim or Trey Harris? Oh, that's like that's like asking who you're like. You have two best friends and choosing one of them. Uh, okay, so Grim is amazing, but um, can I choose both or is that cheating? That's cheating, isn't it? Yeah. I'm going to say, even though Treyarch is super annoying, he sends us on loads of adventures. He's super smart. So I'm going to have to choose Treyarch. I'm sorry, Grim. I'm sorry. Um, Dan, these guys are from Holland. OK. And they brought you some caramel. Are they waffles? Oh, OK. I know what these are, yeah. So do you, do you know Stroopwaffle McFlurries? Yeah, no. They only do them in, like, in in Holland. Right, they are okay. the best thing ever. Oh, well, that's so, very thank thoughtful you. then. Thank you. There you go. Oh, and we got a little bit <laughs> yeah. of fan art as well. There you go. Thank you. So I've got to ask, Dan, have you got a wall? You get so much fan art. Have you got a wall at home that is just plastered? Yeah, so I have, just... when I come to these conventions, you guys give me so much, which I'm really grateful for. So if it's, I've just moved offices, so I have like a wall that's going to be covered in fan art. And I've also got lots of PO Box stuff still to open, but it all goes either on the wall or I keep it in like, I've got like a library of folders just full of TDM art, so. It must be, because you've been given so much just this weekend, there must be masses. Oh yeah, there's, there's tons. I could open a library, I reckon. <laughs> oh, but I keep it all, so. It's all been fantastic it. art though, really nice. Right, I'm gonna come over here and ask you guys Hi. on the left-hand side of the stage. So, what's your name and what's your question? Um, my name is Jacob. Um, what was your first console? What was that, sorry? What was your first ever console, Dan? Oh, it was... A TV. <laughs> I'm not sure you could play much on a TV. It was a SNES, so Super Nintendo Entertainment System. So it's literally what, not the original Mario, but the one after that. So it had stuff like, I think the original Mario Kart was on it. And then you had like Super Mario World. Yeah, the SNES. It's a, it's a good console. It's a good console. It's a very good console. Anybody here remember the Super Nintendo, the SNES? So the parents pixel. putting their hands up. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, who's got a question on this side? What's your name and what's your question? Harriet, and what was your weirdest time in any series? What's the weir weirdest? What's been your weirdest experience in any series? Uh, weirdest experience? Yeah, weirdest. Yeah, there was one episode of um, Diamond Dimensions where I was just I was just rooting through my chest, just trying to find something, and this creeper like comes from the, the ceiling for no reason. It's not even dark, and it just comes from the top, lands on my face, and explodes everything, literally everything, and it goes everywhere. So if you haven't seen that, you need to check that out because it's so weird. <laughs> so that is my strangest experience because there was no reason for that creeper to be there. Okay, what's your name, mate, and what's your question? My name is Ollie. Um, I just want to give Let's have a look. Where did you get this? Um, my mum bought it. That's really cool, thank you. It's like a redstone one. That's really cool. I don't have a pen on me, <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, hang on a minute. We'll just do we'll we'll just do one, yeah, because we haven't got enough time. I will be to around and about the convention. 
I will be out and around the convention after this, so I'll meet as many of you as I can. Right, okay, so Thank you. let's go over here and ask a few more questions, shall we? Around like that, over there. Who would like to qu ask a question on the stairs? You, sir, what's your name? My name is Adam, and what is the most annoying thing Triorus has ever done to you? Well, there must be Ooh, so many you... things. I, I didn't learn about it until the video came out, but you know, the animation style video came out where we, we, we kind of tried something new in the lab. We went to his old lab and he put me in this machine and I, I trusted him like I always do. And he changed me into a chicken. He changed me into a cow. What else did he turn me into? A sheep. And then, yeah, at the end of the video, uh, he said I was fine, my top half was fine, and then I got home and realized I had horse legs. So that's literally the worst thing he's done to me. Because he couldn't reverse it for ages. It took lots of potions to get rid of them. It was bad. It was bad. <laughs> right. Oh, these are for Dan as well, are they? We've got you some. Oh, for the pugs. Dog biscuits hey. for the pugs. Nice. Brilliant. I love those. Okay, Thank I'll you. bring them over in a second, Dan. We've got one more question. So make it a good one. What's your name and what is it? That's amazing. Why do you always play Minecraft? Thank you. So good. Sorry. Uh, Dan, why do you always play Minecraft? What is it about Minecraft that you love? It's like new every single time you play it. So you can create all the levels you want, play all the stories you want. You literally make the game whatever you like. So you can literally do anything in Minecraft, especially with all the mods and stuff as well. But it's just fresh and new every time I play it. If, if a new mod comes out and it just does something crazy, it will always just, I'd always just be like, wow, this game is... I guess the only the limit is your imagination, isn't it? Exactly, yes. Yeah. Exactly. Is that why we all love Minecraft? Yeah! There's your Thank you. biscuits. Thank you. The pugs are going to be happy. Definitely, definitely. Yeah, brilliant. Could I do one thing before we... Of course you up? can. Would you be able to take a picture of me and all these guys? Yes, gladly, gladly. Wow. So where, do you, where, where should we do this? So if I stand here... Yeah. Would you be able to take it this way? No problem. I just want to say thanks for like you guys being amazing, by the way. You guys are awesome. Yeah, give yourselves a big round of applause. Woo! I think that was the quietest the main stage it has was, ever yeah, been. It was, yeah, it was a bit. It was a bit. bit weak. When you do new guys <laughs> play. Right. Everyone say Minecraft. Nice one, thank you. Thanks so much for all the support today, guys. It's been amazing. So I'm glad you enjoyed all the custom mod adventures as well. So I'm going to be out and around and about so I can meet as many of you as possible because I'm going to have to go this way. But um, yeah, I just want to say thanks for coming out. It's been amazing. And guys, we're going to have a little chat with Dan in the studio right now. So uh, if you want to hear more from the Diamond Minecart, take a seat and you can watch it on the screens all around here, okay? That'll be in about five minutes. Guys, you've been amazing. Great questions. Give yourselves pats on backs. Thank you so much. We'll see you soon. Goodbye.